Hello, YouTubesters. Welcome back. So let's finish up our detectiving phase and ignore people that try to prove streamers wrong in the chat. We pay them no attention at all, basically. So, uh, no, no, I don't want to open that up. Larry, what are you doing here, my friend? You, uh, always seem to get in the way. There was a murder here. You better not be involved, basically. <laughs> oh, you don't know him very well, Maya. Uh-huh. Keonce's not in town. I hope I'm saying her name right. Hawaii on a photo shoot, of course. Of course! So there was a murder, and anything you could tell us could help. Why would Larry know Edgeworth? Oh, you know. Yeah, I do mean that one, but Old Edgy! <laughs> He's a murder suspect. Same class as us in grade school. Oh, we're all old friends! Surprise, surprise. So, samurai dogs, yo. Why? <laughs> Just why? Originally, they were guard dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Grade school explains the weirdest hair. It's just our generation. Our generation all has spiky hair, apparently. Change the name and you go, girlfriend. <laughs> Kids these days. Hey, good deal. Gordy is returned, indeed. Feels like this might be wasting our time, but we'll see. Yeah, we used to be we used to be pals to stay in character. Yeah, he looks like a stick in the mud. Studying. Oh, being like his father. No pressure. Wait a second. If he wants to be like his father, he can't be a prosecution attorney. Yeah! Hold it! Exactly! Just what I said a minute ago. It's totally the opposite, even. He always used to talk about defending the weak who were unable to defend themselves. Hmm. <laughs> what a bore. Wonder what changed his mind. I might know, but I'm not telling you guys. A giant mysterious monster, the Gordy. Source of puns. Let's see this photo. Well, it's a photo of something. A real monster. A giant life form. Can't quite zoom in enough to read that one. Probably just a log or something strange, anyway. 
It's a punster. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. I set the camera to automatic, and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang, like an explosion. Huh! Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. Sounds like our research student from, quote, University of Country <laughs> is probably making up her credentials and was just copying the news article and trying to get famous for taking a picture of something. Yeah, it's a good question. That'd be one million dollars. Grow up, Larry. Alright, well we're getting some evidence at least. You know, we got we got some hot news. We got some photographs. This doesn't really show much other than that it was foggy. Bullet to the heart. You know, you'd think standing on a a boat a small boat like that, even in steady water, it'd be hard to hit someone right in the heart with a gun. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever stood on a small boat, but it's pretty rocky, wavy, you know. Especially with two people standing on it. And then lot of lot of something's camera faces the lake. She it is specifically noted noted here that it's not facing the sky with all them meteors. Alright, I think we've got all we need. Unless there's something here. We never found anything at the rental shop. No, there's nobody here. It's Christmas! They'll be here tomorrow, probably. To the entrance. So now all we need is to get, uh... Officially on the case. Maybe we're not done. All right. Maybe we, maybe we missed a message while we were out. Oh, nothing. Just something. I hate it when people do that. What's going on? Oh, nothing. Well, something. What is it? Oh, I'm just thinking. Oh, this guy. A lawyer that worked with Mia? I met him once when he went there to hang out with Sis. Is someone killing off old Mia's associates? Mr. Grossberg? Is this gonna tie in with the underlying theme of the story for this game? The last name I expected. Lawyers always killing off other lawyers to take up all the lawyerly monies. All the loot for lawyers. Can't stand other lawyers competing for it. Well, I guess we could go talk to Grossberg, but he might know who it is at least. We got lots of clues already. Penny nickels for your thought? Yeah, you level up way quicker when there's no competition. As we learned in the uh, solo Final Fantasy runs, you just go solo and you get way more experience that way. It's way better. Alright, she's still puffing her cheeks up again like a chipmunk. Let's get out of here. She's gonna explode. Alright, let's try Grossberg. Still doesn't have his painting back. Ahem. <clears throat> You're Mia's something something. Yeah, exactly. Understudy. Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. Sister? Yeah. You know, for an old lawyer, you think you'd pay more attention. 
No, she doesn't. She needs to fill out a fair bit. The days when Mia was young and underage. Like the scent of front lem fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Grossberg. Grossberg. Gross, I say. Yeah, uh, I'm just going to present you this picture and see if you can tell me who it is. You probably should recognize him, yes. Yeah. Hammond! Robert Hammond. Is that a pun? Robert Hammond? Robert Ham. Rob Ham. Rob him! It's kind of like Snape, I guess, a little bit. Not, not like, British enough. Um, Rob Ham, Robert Hammond. Hammond's like a type of organ? An organ, like, you know, play music on? Um, I don't know. There's probably a pun there if you delve deeper. Um well this is the one the police this is this is this is what <laughs> you wouldn't even say that. Like this is what the the prosecution is saying. Like, you know, the phrasing is always wrong here. This is what we're trying to disprove. Alright, tell us the truth. Who is Robert Hammond? Who is this Hammond guy? Defense attorney in that case. Uh oh. Does this all relate? The DL6 incident. Because, Phoenix, just a few months ago we had an entire case that this was important in. I'm sure someone mentioned it in Mia's trial. That's right, this is the one that got Maya's mother in trouble. Yes. Yes, indeed. Misty Fay. No conviction. Fifteen years ago. Back with uh, red, white, and blue. Remember all that? They never caught the criminal. Misty Fay used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case, and the suspect was declared- They're not going to tell us who this was. Well, that was because of Red White letting it- Well, it was because of this guy, Grossberg, and Red White that uh, ruined the name of your mom. And he feels guilty because it ruined this kid's life, probably. Oh, come on, Phoenix. Don't be so naive. He has glasses smaller than his mustaches. They're just reading glasses, I think. Edgeworth, the victim, was his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Oh man, everything is linked together. So, Mia and Maya's mum were conversing, supposedly, with Edgeworth's father, who was also a defense attorney. Lawyers killing lawyers! Show him this. Tell me about your mother. I wonder if Edgeworth and, uh, I don't want to talk about these guys anymore. I wonder if Edge, if the old, the late Edgeworth and the Fay mother knew, like, what if they were like a thing? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. What about your defense? You need a, you need a lawyer. All right. Take that! I 
I'm good at my job. That's right. Detective Ankylo. That's right. We're similar in that regard. DL6. Fifteen years ago, so we would have both been like nine or ten or so, I think. How come he remembers it perfectly and I like totally forgot about it? I guess his dad was involved. DL6 does have a trail of bodies, so it's maybe... Maybe he wasn't trying to keep us from... Remember earlier I said perhaps he's just trying to keep us for our reputation. Keep us out of the, uh, the case for our reputation. Maybe he was actually trying to protect us from murder. Murder most foul. Very well. Ask away. So, Edgeworth. Tell me, what do you remember from 15 years ago? Yeah, let's bring up a painful childhood memory. That's nice. Very, uh... <laughs> right before his eyes. Shh, wait a second, you saw it all? Just like that picture on the lake. A man. And you know the courts, they love to arrest people with very little evidence. Spirit- so they already- they had one suspect, it was a- what's- what's the- the uh, open and shut case, that's the saying I think? <laughs> that's a gross underestimate. It's an open and shut case, they had a spirit medium confirm it for whatever reason, but... Robert Hammond cleared his name for some reason. Now Hammond is dead. So it makes it look like Edgeworth got revenge on the man who defended the man who killed his father? We still don't know the name of the man that probably killed his father. Yeah, the Fays are back. December 28th, conveniently the same day our trial will end if it goes to the last day possible. Including the statute of limitations! Oh, 15 years exactly for both murders! How convenient! I'm not sure that's exactly what it means. But sure. This is a crazy world. So who was this suspect? You forgot his name even? He'd be about 50 years old now, whoever he was. It means he was about 35 when he murdered your father? I mean, supposedly murdered your f mm. Gregory Edgeworth. Quite famous. Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. That's personal, Maya. That's personal. Alright, Edgy. How would you like to look at... photo of you. Was this you? Did you shoot him? Did you shoot the man who defended the man who might have killed your father? I don't think that makes any sense. I don't think you would do that. Seems like a very weak motive to me. There you go. That's all I needed to hear you say. Now I can trust you.
Of course we will. What are friends for? Friendemies. Oh? Are you actually gonna pay us? Alright guys, in chat, we're finally gonna get paid. Oh wait, no, we're paying him back. Wait a second, I'm confused. It's secret. We're never gonna get paid. We're doing we're the ones doing the paying, and we're poor. We're broke. Earthquake? That's not good. What is happening? Suddenly Edgeworth and Phoenix work together and the ground shakes. The gods have spoken. Oh, he's got a thing against giant earthquakes. We're getting paid by giving money to Edgeworth for defending him in court. Huh. That's a good start. It's a good start. Apparently Edgeworth is really not good with earthquakes. Don't worry, Edgy. You'll be fine. To the courthouse. I mean, uh... To the criminal affairs department. The CAD. Sure hope we got here before 4pm, which is apparently closing time. This wild lady comes in here, says she came to talk to y'all. Oh. A lot of heart. Look, the more witnesses there are, the more chance that they uh, contradict each other. I think it's for the best. Maybe she saw something that would help out Edgeworth. Come on. Come on. Positive. Look. You should have gone and talked to all the people that were at the lake that day. Today, literally. It's not my fault you didn't check in with her. Anyway, by the way... Oops, not that one. I am... Officially on the job. No problem, Gumshoe. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. See you in court. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, apparently there's earthquakes all the time wherever she's from. <laughs> yeah. Apparently this is a, a real thing. I wonder if this is related to 15 years ago. Get your rest. Later. Later, Gata. Ah. He was never that scared of them when he was in school, back when we were friends. The plot thickens. Yeah, I was only with I was only in the same class for a single year. Transferred to another school after that. Wonder what happened to Edgy? After his father was brutally murdered. To be continued! In another episode. I'm feeling these are going to be very long episodes on YouTube. I have to cut them up in half. Well, we'll see about that eventually. Thanks for watching YouTube. See you guys next time.